Hello everybody and welcome to the second video in my industrial craft series. In this video we are going to be focusing on the MFE unit, which is the second EU storage block in industrial craft. Now as we take a look at the MFE unit, the recipe and resources for this block should be appearing on the left. Okay, so the MFE unit is an EU storage block which stores up to 600,000 EU and accepts up to and outputs at a rate of 128 EU per tick. This means that this block is a medium voltage block. So if you wanted to use it with a low voltage block, you need to use an LV transformer to transform the single signal from 128 EU per tick to 32 EU per tick. Now it accepts current from any of its side except the side with a dot on it. And this means that this dotted face is the output face. Now if we take a quick look at the interface, you can see that it's very, very similar to the bat box. If you want to power the MFE, you place the your say your battery in here, and that will drain the power from the battery and place it into the MFE. And if you wanted to charge something from the MFE, you'd place the block you wanted to charge, say your mining drill, and then that would drain the power out of the MFE and charge the uh, the mining drill. Now, as you can see, this is the like the bar which shows how much power is it, the power level, and this shows the fraction out of 600,000 at which the power level is at. And finally you can also see that the, it outputs at a rate of 128 EU per tick. Now something I forgot to mention in the bat box and I also forgot to mention in the MFSU although you don't know that yet because that's not been uploaded is that these have got redstone signal like <coughs> redstone signal included in their like interfaces and by that I mean that if you get some redstone which I probably should have already had planned you can change whether the block will output a redstone block so at the moment it says it, the redstone behavior will emit if full and if I change that to emit if uh, not if emit if partially full but emit if empty as you can see the MFE is empty so it's emitting a redstone signal now there are other redstone um, behaviors like do not output energy do not output energy unless full nothing emit if full so on and so on now, they can be used uh, quite handily if automated systems to say that if the MFE has run out of power, it'll then um, power some redstone and then you can get more power from a different block. Anyway, back onto the MFE itself, it can accept the input from all of its faces except the one with the dot on, like I just said. And if we were to get some power generated by putting some cold coke in this generator, you can see that it's accepting EU very quickly. Now if you want to take the power from the MFE and pump it into somewhere else, you simply take your cable and then place it into another block on its input face. As you can see it's leading into the input face and this MFE is getting charged at a rate of 128 EU per tick. So yeah, that's it for this video, that's pretty much all there is to the MFE. Thanks for watching, please stick around for the next one.